Hello folks and uh, welcome to App Screencast again. This is just a quick video on a little application called MP3 Gain. I'm sure quite a few of you out there don't know what it is, what the application is and what it does. So I'll just launch it. See if I can spell it right. So yep, I've launched the application. And basically what it is, if you're a music lover, you've got an iPod or an mp3 player or even if you listen to music on CDs but you, you download a lot of uh, singles single tracks this also works for albums but I find it's most useful if you listen to a lot of single tracks maybe you've made a little compilation album or you've got your iPod and you've got your little playlist with loads of different singles on so songs from different albums you sometimes get the volume will be different levels on each song depending where you've actually got the music from or depending on what album it's from or whatever and you'll get different volume levels and you'll be listening to it on your iPod or even on your stereo or even on your computer and you'll notice that you'll be listening to one track and it'll be a nice volume you'll set the volume on your volume control to the nice volume you want and so the, the next track will start and it'll either be too quiet or it might be too loud it might even blow your ears off if you listen to it on the iPod then the next track will come on and that will change and you'll change the volume again and it will keep doing that and there's no consistency with the volume and it can be a little bit annoying especially if you're listening to um, playlists or whatever so probably the best solution at least in my mind is mp3 gain for the Mac it's actually a Windows application as well it might even be Linux I'm not sure about that but I think it could be Linux as well but it's a Mac application as well and it's a great little application so I'm just going to quickly demonstrate how I use it there's you know there's slightly different ways you can customize your actual songs but this is how I actually use it so as you can see I've got some music here just some random tracks for this purpose this video we'll pretend they're just some random singles I've put together made a little compilation maybe a little rock clip compilation obviously you can go to your iTunes folder that you'll find in your music go to iTunes probably in iTunes media go to music and you can find your albums and your songs there if you wish to do it that way but I've just got my own desktop so all you do is go to choose folder and then you can find it on your desktop just select the folder you can do individual tracks if you wish but for this purpose I'm going to choose that folder or even better you can choose playlist and it'll actually search your playlist on your iTunes library which is really good but I've just chose this folder here obviously by playlist I mean your playlist in iTunes which is here whatever playlist you wish to select on there but we'll do this folder for this um, purpose of this video and all I do is I usually go for radio game mode which I guess it's like on the radio when you listen to the radio and you've got all the different songs they're always at a const constantly the same volume so this is what they call it radio gain so I select radio gain I'll leave process subfolder checked I'm not sure what it means but it was checked to begin with if you wish you can change the actual volume level if you want I just leave it at default but if you want to make your songs a bit louder you can obviously what I'm going to set you here if you are, well, before you even run this application, what I would say to you is probably back up your music. Because the last thing I want you to do is to get this application, run all your music through it, change the volume, then finding you don't like it and you've mucked up your old music library. So what I'd say is make a backup of your music just in case you want to go back to how it used to be. That would be the best way because I don't want you to ruin your music collection. So that aside take the music choose the folder like I've said and just press start and it will run it it does take a few minutes because it's got to process every song and change the volume level run every song it might take a few minutes I'm not sure I can't remember how long it took as you can see I've got 12 tracks to do so track one and then I went on to track two so you can see it's taking maybe 20 seconds 30 seconds each track maybe so then when that is complete, all these songs will all be roughly at the same volume. You'll not have no loud songs or really quiet songs. 
they'll all be roughly the same volume, which is just great for if you're making a CD or you listen to all these songs on your iPod as a playlist or whatever. And what you can do then, you can just export them into iTunes or burn them to a CD if you wish. So that's pretty much the application. There's not much more to show. Once it's complete, all these songs, oops, all these songs in this folder will all have been changed. But like I said, make sure you back up your music beforehand because I don't want you altering all your music, then complaining that it's cocked all your music up and your music doesn't sound right or whatever. So definitely make a backup. If you want the application, just go to macupdate.com website. What we'll do is leave the link in the description. What you can do is just search for it, MP3 gain. Comes up straight away. And you can download the application. As you can see, it's just half a megabyte, really. So it's a really tiny application. Gets not bad reviews. There's only three people who reviewed it. Obviously, not the most popular application. But if you like me, well, actually, it w not, not so much me because I'm more an album person. I normally listen to albums. But if you're someone who does listen to singles a lot, this is definitely going to be really useful, I think. And actually, it was my mum who had this problem. She came to me and said, all the music, it kept jumping up and down volume. And she had to keep messing with the volume control. And it was really annoying when she was busy. So I discovered this little application, which I thought were really useful. I put most of her music through it. And she's been really happy with it since. So, yeah, definitely check it out. Thanks for watching the video, hopefully you find it useful. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you later. Thank you.